The Five Nights at Freddy's franchise started up in 2014 with its first game, Five Nights at Freddy's. It has grown to be the most popular indie horror game in video game history. And just a few days ago, FNAF DLC Ruin released. I don't know about you guys, but I've seen tons of videos from of people playing this new game, and I think they already found out multiple endings. But with new games comes new lore and theories. I know I've never done a theory video before, but I'm up to the challenge to try it out. In this video, I will explain some unexplainable things and probably add a bit of my theories to it. Trust me, you'll want to watch this whole video. The first thing I'll explain is Freddy. When we encounter Freddy, we see him as a broken up animatronic that lost his head. Where we find him is also the place where Freddy gets torn up in Security Breach. That most likely means that this ending in Security Breach is the one used in the next game. The next part is um, what we see on Freddy's foot, prototype. Since the actual Freddy from the last game was torn apart and his head was taken by Gregory, means that the Freddy we see here is the actual Freddy from Security Breach. My theory is that Freddy is the prototype. It's why we see him malfunctioning on stage at the beginning of the last game. He was just a prototype. The only thing is, who is the actual non-prototype Freddy? My theory is that Vanny was working on using one of the scary endoskeletons that followed you when you weren't looking to become the new and improved version of Freddy. But because Gregory and all the events um, that happened in Security Breach, she wasn't able to complete it. I have one more thing about Freddy. I'm not sure if you heard of this, but there's a theory that Freddy is Michael Afton, and it could be true. I think Michael inhabited the body of um, the prototype Freddy as it was in the making. Michael burned to death in the pizza plex under um, pizza place under the pizza plex. It also makes sense because of how Freddy devoted everything into saving Gregory, as he did when he was trying to save his sister in sister location. Okay, time to move on. The mimic is the main antagonist of Ruin, and probably the scariest, in my opinion. When it is chasing you at the end of the game, there are three known endings. If you do some stuff with the cameras earlier in the game, it unlocks some random doors somewhere. But once you get to the final chase, you'll be able to go in a scooper room, it's similar to FNAF Sister Location. And if you press the button, the lion-like creature's endo gets scooped out of its body. If you do not open the secret door earlier in the game, the mimic appears like a tall, scary endoskeleton with braces. Seems weird to me, but you only have two options. First, if you go to the left on the last tunnel part, you'll, you'll encounter a virtual poster of Fredbear's Family Diner. And if you put your mask on, you'll end up on a screen where it shows Helpy, Gregory, and Vanessa sitting in this grassland. It's very confusing. The other ending is if you follow Gregory's instructions correctly, you'll end up in an elevator. You'll listen to him talk, and then he'll start saying that he's sorry, and then the elevator drops. Daddy, it's me. I think I need to explain a few things. You were never supposed to go to the pizza place. That thing is a single trick to you. I really don't know what it is, but it's been trapped down here a really long time. The Nexus security program was designed to keep it hidden, but you shut down the security. And now it's free. It's not your fault. I know you did it for me. To save me. But we can't risk being followed. I'm sorry. Gregory? No! This is a very easy explanation. Right before Gregory starts apologizing, a loud sound can be heard. The sound is the mic changing from Gre Gregory to the mimic. So I think the, mi the mimic dropped the elevator, not Gregory. Also, how would Gregory drop the elevator if he's not even there? Also, if he could, why would Gregory drop the elevator if the mimic is not under or on top of it? The Mimic was last seen right in front of the elevator door when it closed. The Mimic made the elevator fall so it can get to the top floor and escape. The only reason the Mimic spoke as Gregory is so Cassie would blame Gregory if she survived. The other ending that does not correspond with the Mimic is at the very start of the game. If you go back into the hole that Cassie came through, um, the game ends peacefully. The rabbit-like navy blue virtual creature was created by Vanessa to keep the Mimic contained. It was called MXES. But once Cassie trapped it, the Mimic was able to escape. In this game, we meet the rest of the band, but they are much different. The mangled Monty leaves at you all the time, Chica ate too much pizza, and Roxy lost her entire face. Roxy was the only animatronic that didn't hurt Ca Cassie or become hostile. It was because she had met Cassie before and they became friends. Roxy even um, faces the Mimic in the final part of the game, even when Cassie de deactivated her. Monty was defeated mid-game when he swam in electrified water. Chica was crushed to death by a trash compactor. The only animatrons that we saw weren't killed or defeated um, was Freddy's decapitated body, the small music men, Eclipse, the Mimic, and Roxy. The only character that wasn't featured was DJ Music Man, which is very upsetting to me.
Here's a question. Where did all the tiny music men come from? My theory was that Vanessa or any of the workers at the Pizza Plex tried to make a DJ sort of thing. They tried to use they tried using the old model of Music Man from the earlier games, but none of them worked out. So they so they left them for trash. They instead remodeled them and created DJ Music Man, which has a similar body form of the former Music Man. The old models are now out to kill any humans they encounter. I know this theory has not much proof and back information, but it's just my theory. Gregory says he knows a friend that has information to the maps of the Pizza Plex. And it's obvious that his friend he's talking about is Vanessa, who became his legal guardian. Now I'm going to explain why there are so many references to Puppet, a.k.a. Charlie Emery, who was murdered by Willie Mackin before the five missing kids in the security breach. My theory is that Henry Emery, father of Charlie, created a chip that if he were to connect it to an empty animatronic, it would act exactly and talk exactly like his lost daughter um, that he burned in the fire. It could also be that Henry took the chip from the puppet before the fire and used it. What happened was that the chip got into the hands of a police truck. He then used it to, con to control the animatronics and the staff bots. Also, the broken staff bots have a nightmare in his fe face on it, not the puppets. The puppet turned into its evil, more vengeful version, not the one that would protect the children from aftermath.